Now, I don't know how the six could be ahead of us when they both had to drop to the rear. He didn't go to the rear. I forgot how bad these motherfuckers drive back here. Jesus. Still got a long ass ways to go. Lock and half. Be blocking four. Three wide, you're on the bottom. Hey, that little I ain't around tonight. Still bumper clear, you got it. Shoot that motherfucker the bird. My God. Go get this 10, man. What the is that kid doing? I don't know, but can we look at the mirror and get the f away from him? I'd be f depressed if my girlfriend out around me every week. Hey everybody, uh, that was that was a long intro. That was pretty awesome. Uh, uh, we're here. We're back. We're here like every week. We're, we're back. not live. We're, we're not. Back. We're not. We're not live. We're back. We're back in the comfort of of, of this case. Our of glass, this case. glass case of glass emotion. Case. Pl- pod case of emotion. Pod- <laughs> oh. Podcast. I uh, like it. I'll go with it. I'll, I'll allow it. I'll, <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this guy sounds like out there. He sounds probably a little bit different than that, but. Uh, <laughs> That was Clint Boyer, uh, and a spotter upset at something. I don't know who it was. Hopefully, it wasn't me. It wasn't. It was a bunch of folks. Mm-hmm. It was after he got the uh, over the too oh, many men over too, the wall. I thought penalty. it was too soon over the too wall. Too soon too over soon. the wall. We thought it was too many men, and then I think somebody came back and said it was too soon. I was listening to your MRN uh, broadcast? Pod, broadcast of it. Your MRN podcast, <laughs> podcast. of it. <laughs> no, and they, uh, initially I heard uh, too many men over the wall. So uh, who knows? Either yeah. way, he had to go. He to got the penalized. Back. Had to go to the back and worked his way through the field. So that's a collective mix uh, of him passing a bunch of people of his journey back yes. to the field. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we do want to thank him for coming on our live podcast. Yeah, it was, he did well. He did a good job. It was fun. It was fun. I thought uh, he did a great job. He's a very funny guy. Clint Boyer is. Very, very funny. I think if we got him in studio, he would be he'd be a little bit more relaxed because the ad track stuff. He was very distracted. You got to behave, and he was distracted. He's very easily distracted, yeah. and then you put a lot more people out, mm-hmm. and he he's very distracted. But squirrel, <laughs> he's like that dog and up. Yes. Yeah, that's what he is. Barbecue Kevin? truck. Kevin isn't his name Kevin. 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 I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Never saw it's Kevin. Up. But yeah, but, he uh, he did a good job. He hit the nail on the head with that one. Speaking of hitting things, oh. oh. Landon Castle hit our logo. He did. He Boo. did. Destroyed it. Yeah. There's there's video of it. Uh, yeah. It was, yeah. That Landon. It was Landon. so pretty. And well, then he destroyed it. He left he our he names. Could, he could have done worse. I mean, he could have taken out the entire thing. Yeah. Yeah. He only took out where to find the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like half the battle. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't care about our names being up there. I just want to know yeah. where people can find the podcast. Yeah. Weekly on NASCAR.com. NASCAR.com. He wiped it all out. But I didn't grab it after the race. Uh, like I said, I, I wonder would. if they'll restore it for next year. Yeah, yeah if we're around, if we don't get canceled, <laughs> fair. We might get kicked off. I don't off know. The we have, we have, uh, we're closing in on we're at what seven hundred thirty thousand something like that. Listen, yeah. So yeah. I feel like that's, uh, that's a lot. Reason to continue the quest. I think we can get to a million by the end of the year. I think so. That would neat. be that would be awesome. Yeah. I mean, we went live for the first time, which was pretty cool. All the fans that came yeah. out. Had there a fan that held up a sign. a sign. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, She's excited. if this movement is growing, you might be correct. Maybe. I hope so. I think that's our goal. We're going to we're gonna try to get to over a million. Or not even over a million. Just like what should we do? I feel million. like, again, with the I feel like. Uh, we should do something for the fans if we hit a million. Well, we've I don't know what. Tr- we've tried the bikini thing and it that failed. Work. It failed. Wah. Failed hard. Yeah. What else could we do? Maybe we should leave it up to them. Give us some suggestions. Maybe somebody Good pops f- out of a bal- uh, uh, a cake with some fart balloons. <laughs> yeah, I just we could what? sign the our big poster and give it. We away. could give it away. Ooh, yeah. be nice. Yeah. We could all sign it and give it away. I was actually thinking about. I just had this idea. I wasn't thinking about it. I was thinking about it like ten seconds ago. <laughs> what we can do for the fans is maybe if we do a live podcast again, mm-hmm. mm. do it and just have fans come on. Just pick a fan out of the crowd Ooh. and have them on for like two minutes, mm-hmm. and then just keep and rotating just rotate. Fans. Yeah, I think that'd be kind of cool. That could, and have them come with their best topic. Yeah, which if you're listening and we bring you on the show, it can't be, can I have an autograph? No, that is because the I hate. Boyer called out that fan yeah. I enrichment. Call, I hate, I, I MC interviews all the time where I take fan Q&A, like questions. Yeah. That is the worst thing you can do is during a Q&A, instead of asking an actual question, asking, can I get an autograph? Yeah. Like, the, what am I going to say? No. <laughs> like, find me after the interview is over. I will sign whatever you have, especially if it's whatever yes, my car. Yes, Ryan's very accommodating. Oh, whatever. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. Within also, reason. Within reason. Not like a butt. Yeah. <laughs> not gonna sign a I butt. might sign a butt. I don't know. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. You, gotta get, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Sign. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody gotten your name tattooed on them? I know people get their body parts signed to have them tattooed, and I've seen a number of NASCAR fans with driver autographs. Have you had the opportunity to sign somebody who got tattooed? So uh, this happened to me a few times this year to where a, a fan asked me to sign their arm, and I don't want to do it at first because I'm like, you're not going to get it tattooed, are you? Because you're not going to have my name tattooed on you. Like, that's <laughs> honestly, I don't want to be mean, but like, that's kind of dumb. Like, what? <laughs> you don't love a driver that much to get their autograph tattooed on you. I mean, maybe you're a diehard fan. I've seen some Jeff Gordon tattoos uh, of his signature, but don't get, I, I'm nobody. Don't get my, <laughs> some fan in Darlington, I was out in the campground hanging out and uh, I was walking back. Someone was, someone was like, man, sign my arm. And he had a Darlington tattoo. Oh, he for sure Darlington was Raceway. going straight to the tattoo parlor uh, after. And he had the track outline, and I signed right under it. I said, you're not going to tattoo it, are you? He's like, no, no. <laughs> and I signed it. I'm like, all right, man. You should make temporary fault. temporary tattoos of your signature. A henna? That's what you should do <laughs> as part of your merch. I should get a henna, henna tramp stamp. <laughs> <laughs> of, what my, if, of my emoji. <laughs> yes. What if somebody had the 21 tattooed and got, like, the signatures of all of the drivers Goodness, that, would, that, that had would driven in the 21 tattooed on them? You need a lot of skin space like for a whole that. sleeve. That's, that's, <laughs> a lot of, that's a lot of uh, signatures and tattoos. It's expensive. Yeah. It would be, but it's it would be interesting. Driver. I know. It'd be very interesting. I mean, that'd be, that'd be kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. It's like you should <laughs> see the Cleveland Browns jerseys of their quarterbacks. There's this guy <laughs> oh, online yeah, that, that has, like, one quarterback from, like, 12 years ago, and then he just keeps, like, posting. Adding on to it. He, and it, like, goes down, like, the all side. the way to yeah. his, his ankles. Or so where, think, how far it goes down. Yeah, I can't remember how many quarterbacks they've had since, well, like, 98. Well, I think in the amount of time that uh, Ben Roethlisberger has been with the Steelers, they talked about this when the Steelers played the Browns, that there have been, like, 12 different starting quarterbacks for the Browns. So. That's a lot. Yeah. And it's Lot. we can't even name any of them. No, <laughs> yeah, I because mean, they're that bad. Johnny Manziel, that's all. That's yeah, Johnny right. Manziel. Well, does yeah. he even count? <laughs> Not really. He uh, took snaps from under center, so he does count. Well, starting, he fair. started, didn't he? Started, he started. He started. Yeah, he yeah. started. He started for a little yeah. bit until he. He's a waste of space. Had something else go on, I guess. But uh, whatever. Uh, so that's for another day. Yeah. But um, talking about starting, we uh, with the live broadcast with the live podcast, we were on Facebook. Watch. How'd that do? It did pretty well. Okay. So if you're on Facebook and you're listening to this, uh, log in and type in glass case of emotion in that little search bar at the top of mm -hmm. Facebook mm -hmm. and go like and follow it. Right. And yeah. then that way, if we do other live things, you'll see it pop mm -hmm. up there. Yeah. Yeah. Watch us do live stuff. Yeah. As it's happening. <laughs> this no, is Ryan eating no a delay. taco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> live. <laughs> Does that, do those views get added to our overall listenership? I, I don't know how how, how to aggregate numbers and such. That is a negative. <laughs> no, I mean got in my ear. It, it there's there's ways to you know. Oh, hey, these people watch it's this. Called it, it's called addition. A, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't do math. <laughs> yeah, I mean we can't have these 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 people taken away from our our total listens here if they're just no. watching live stuff. Come on, still go subscribe in they audio should, iTunes audio. What they boom. should do is they should watch it on mute and play the podcast simultaneously. <laughs> like people that watch a race so and get, listen to the uh, get, radio um, broadcast? We get yeah. a bigger bang for our buck. Yes. We're doubling down. Yes. Yeah. Boom. Two tacos for one price. Two, Two for, for one. one. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. <laughs> it is Taco Tuesday. And you talk about tacos making me Tuesday. I know, hungry as hell. <laughs> I've been hungry. I haven't eaten anything this morning. I ate breakfast at like 8.30, so I'm right there with you. Yeah. I hadn't anything. Oh, man. Nothing. I had... God. I had... Would water? you water an air? Yeah. So right now, would you eat Matt Kenseth's uh, playoff emoji? His cheese. Yeah. Cheese. Is that Swiss cheese with holes in it or cheddar? It's, cheddar. it's, it's Swiss, Swiss though. Swiss, Swiss yeah, has Swiss. holes. But, yeah, it has to, but it's from Wisconsin, so I they don't make they have Swiss, Swiss cheese. I don't no. think they do. They make they it in cheese, Switzerland. They have cheese curd. <laughs> it's Swiss. It's Swiss. So is that a cheese curd? It's not what a cheese curd looks like. A cheese curd just looks like a little blob. We're going across the border. Actually, for some that's French what it should have been. Gravy. It could look like. Do, can we talk about these emojis? So yeah. NASCAR, with alongside the driver teams, released these playoff emojis. When you use the hashtag, the emoji pops up. It aggregates, and I'm curious <laughs> about some of them. Oh. What, what is that? Matt Kenseth's favorite pe type of cheese. 
Isn't he a Packers a, fan? A, though? Well, he's a, a Packers Swiss, fan. It's just supposed yeah. to be like a cheese head. It's a cheese. But head. do you feel? Do you think the Packers use Swiss cheese because it's the most identifiable, identifiable type of cheese? I mean, you're not going to put a wheel of brie on your head. Yeah, you're not going to know what it is or yeah, well, cheese curd. Yeah, and I think if they just you, put like a solid <laughs> slice of cheese, they're like, like what is that slice? yellow? <laughs> yeah, what's that yellow triangle or square on your head? Is I it a post-it why, note? I think that's why they use. I think that's why they use Swiss because. Must be. It's, it's Swiss. It's but the I thought, most recognizable yeah. cheese. I thought Swiss cheese wasn't yellow, though. I thought Swiss cheese was like white. white? I yeah. thought so. I don't know. Why is it wearing sunglasses? Because <laughs> it's cool. And, but has no it's other, cool cheese. It cool has cheese. no other personified features. It doesn't have a mouth or a nose. Because it's nacho cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it's nacho cheese. Whose cheese is this? <laughs> nacho. nacho cheese. <laughs> what else is cool? Jamie McMurray's looks like... Uh, like a sim character from the 1990s. Mm-hmm. I like that it has highlights. It does. <laughs> they made sure to include highlights in his hair. He used to have a lot of highlights back in the day. He did. Wait, I have a question. Did you help with this? I did. Okay, yeah. so they yeah. weren't lying when they said they had driver collaboration. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of drivers did. Like Austin Dillon's, that's, that's his, his logo. logo. And so same with Harvick. Chase Yours said his the- team <laughs> did it, did his, and he looks like <laughs> half asleep or stoned. Like, hey, man. <laughs> he looks... Like somebody else that's not him. I can't think of who. Maybe a country singer? I don't know. I don't know. That's I mean, it kind of looks like him. It I, Yours is the best. I'm glad that you chose to do the silhouette with the long hair. Mm-hmm. Indeed. That's what I was supposed to, the to be. short hair. Yeah, so I, I saw a, a, a shirt online. It had Tim Richmond on it, and it looks pretty much like this. Yeah. It had his aviators and like his mustache. I mean. And just like his hair. That and could be a Tim Richmond I just need the mustache. I wish they would have kept the mustache. I'll draw a mustache on my mustache. And yours is just hashtag Blaney, which I appreciate. It's simple. It's simple. I I liked the ones that were simple. Like, I like 17 and 17 for Stenhouse. Chasing 8 like for Chase. Jimmy. I mean, isn't that cooler? It's way cooler. Oh, yes. In the offseason, I'm going to have a mustache. You can show them. In fact, okay. he's, he's drawing musta- it. Mustache. <laughs> it a looks like it's curled up a little bit. Like, hey, I'm Ron Blaney. I'm running in NASCAR. This isn't the most fine point pen. It's very... You know, it's 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 got a large surface area, but uh, I thought they were kind of neat. Uh, Ryan Newman's is cool with the tractor. I guess because that's supposed to be, represent Cat, his Cat, sponsor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I feel like he's an outdoorsy guy that likes building things. Yeah. So, yeah, yes. I would would have been so funny if I wish I would have thought of this. Like, just do something random, <laughs> like <laughs> like a T Rex or something. Rawr. Yeah, just like a T Rex arm and face, just like going up <laughs> in the air. Why did nobody do that? Like it's all relevant things, and all the all the fans are like, "What, what? is that supposed to represent?" So I will. Some people looking at Larson's, if they don't know Larson's from California, might be like, "Oh, why is there a bear on this?" And a star. Yeah, it's California. Is he going camping? Yeah, I thought yeah, they were some pretty. Of them neat. pretty you know who good. Chase kind of looks like Dan Lebetard from ESPN. Oh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I, I it's on the it's tip of my tongue. It's interesting that like. he decided to have the beard mm-hmm. in the photo. Because he doesn't always rock the full beard like that. Not always. He goes back and forth. But uh, I will I say neat. that uh, Jimmy, I do like the hashtag chasing eight. However, he and Truex, from a graphic perspective, mm-hmm. get the worst grade for creativity. <laughs> I personally like Keselowski's going for two. But two beer with cans. the two beer two cans. cans. Cleaning, yeah, I enjoy I that. That's cool. They get. He has such a cool. Deal with Miller Lite. Yeah. Like they can yeah. do so much cool stuff. That part is that part's awesome. But yeah, I thought NASCAR did a good job of these, and it was cool to be able to work with it, um, work with NASCAR about it and the teams, and, and it was neat for them to let us kind of be a part of it and do our own thing. Yeah, it's very cool. Instead of just throwing random stuff out there. How long will How long will this last in terms of if people keep hashtagging Blaney? Because I think yours specifically is just your name. So people typically would maybe hashtag Blaney all the time outside of playoff time. Will it maybe. continue to uh, be aggregate a thing? your emoji? Like That'd be awesome. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. So all through the off season and next year and stuff. That's, I mean, Blaney is my Twitter name too. So all you have to do is just a different <laughs> hashtag or an at symbol. It's the same thing. Boom. Very simple. Very simple. Maybe I'll change it. I'll see if Twitter can change it to a T-Rex or something. A T-Rex. <laughs> or like, ah. or, or that. I mean, also, just told, oh, that's what I should have done. A little dude holding up a lightsaber. A lightsaber. Awesome. You could have done so many. Not that this mm. isn't cool because, again, yours wins. What happens if you're the winning driver? Do you get a special? Oh, maybe get like, like a crown the championship? on your head or something. You get the, yeah. uh, or the T-Rex. Or T-Rex, yeah. Lifting the trophy. Have they already the trophy. about that? 
<laughs> you guys can't lift the trophy. You don't Which know reminds that. me, we, were, we mentioned this last week, not on the podcast, off air, about championship gear for the losing teams. Mm-hmm. And I bring this up, for instance, I know when I work with Sprint, we would get ready in Richmond to do, you know, post-Richmond race media and stuff, and they would have waiting hats of the drivers on the bubble, but then those drivers wouldn't make it. So the same thing like Super Bowl teams, when Super Bowl play, all that gear doesn't get used. Do you know what they do with it? Mm-hmm. They send it to humanitarian organi- organizations to put into th- developing countries. So like huh. Zimbabwe and all those different countries that are in need. So there are, there are little kids walking around Africa with like Carolina Panthers Super Bowl 50 championship <laughs> t-shirts. Huh. I really want one of those shirts, though. That'd be cool to have. But I, I, well, I, yeah, I, no, I assume, it, it, I assume happens, NASCAR does so the same yeah. thing. Yeah, well, like going to Homestead, you've You'll got four, four drivers, yeah. so there's gonna, you've got to have know, it already you made. You know they have the gear yeah. for all four. I know when we had the Sprint Cup trophy, we even had the placards, like the sterling silver placards engraved mm-hmm. with all four names because we didn't know who was going to win. I don't know what they do with those. I don't think they send those to developing country. ESPN did a story back in 2008 where the uh, New England Patriots 19 and 0 apparel went to uh, Nicaragua. Mm. Uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. But at the same time, what if you're an athlete like, and you go to volunteer in a third world country and they've been, they've been repping you and your, your gear. And they're like, Oh, you're a Super Bowl champion or, Oh, you're the monster energy NASCAR yeah. champion. And you're hey. like, sorry. Well, <laughs> But you could, like, pump your own brand out. You could go to those countries <laughs> and just pretend you actually want Like, you have my gear. Yeah, it, I, won. It. It said, I won. It said on this shirt, everything they print is true. Well, I've been, I've been watching the, the TV lookity box recently, and they've had a couple of ads for, um, you know, a former champion, Brad Keselowski, uh, racing Joey Logano. Right. Two of your uh, future uh, teammates in the new NASCAR Heat 2 game. Yeah. So who, if, if you were to race in NASCAR Heat, what car would you be? Uh huh. And uh, who are you going to beat? Um, it's funny. Brad and I are actually doing this tomorrow. We're racing uh, for NASCAR Heat Two that's coming out, which I'm really excited for. Uh, they actually so they developed that game uh, in this building, in the oh. NASCAR building. For those of you who don't know, um, it's called Seven Hundred Four Games, uh, and uh, Martin Dusenberry Racing or Dusenberry Martin Racing. Yeah, uh, plugs. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> and um, yeah, we uh, we're doing that tomorrow. But so they'll probably make me be my own. Mm-hmm. Make me be me. Well, they'll make you do it. Okay. For, for the, like for, for the first one for video. Yeah, for like video content, just so fans okay. know who you are. Like, okay. When they're showing us on the track, they'll know. Like, okay, yeah. that's Blaney or Brad. Uh, but I don't know. I usually race as like like Chase mm-hmm. or like Brad or something like that. Uh, or I'll race as like like Corey LaJoy or like Greg Golding or something. I like to switch it up. I okay. switch it up or something. You randomize sometimes. Random. Uh, and who do I want to beat? Anybody, <laughs> every All everyone, Brad tomorrow, you know, wax ass. Well, tomorrow. you should. What you should do is the three of you or two of you should switch around and not tell the people. <laughs> so like Brad races you and you race Ooh, Brad's car. That'd be nice, that'd be funny. Trick them. Yeah, trick them. Do you ever do the thing on the video games where you just uh, go the wrong way? I used to. Me and my friends used to do this back in the day. Oh, it was so fun. Uh, <laughs> you got so excited. <laughs> back in like, oh man, it was like oh five. Mm-hmm. This is a long time ago, and. uh Obviously, NASCAR games were out then. And we'd, so there would get, uh, back then, I think you could get like four players. And, mm-hmm. On like, like a, a GameCube like a, or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Like a off, you know, not even on the internet. and But you'd race with all of the other, you know, Nintendo CPU 64. Cars. No, it was like PlayStation 2 get two okay. days. Yeah. And um, one car, you'd, you know, pick who it was and you played tag. Mm-hmm. One car would go backwards. And if you got tagged by that car, you were it. <sighs> and it would just keep going that until you got awesome. everybody. <laughs> Yeah, the game so never fun. stopped? No, it like, did stop. So, like, let's say there's four people playing. Because you know how sometimes they have the warnings, like, you're going the wrong way. Oh, no, the game won't stop. No, yeah. Back then, they, they didn't, didn't care. care. You're just going there. Yeah. Yeah. If you got tagged, you had to turn around, too. Yeah. And it was, oh, it was so fun. <laughs> it was so great. We used to do that at, at Bristol. We um, should do that in real life. <laughs> go, uh, go the reverse way at Bristol. We also used to do kind of the same thing. We'd run full races at Talladega back in college on a 64. And our pit stops, you'd have to um, stop and have a frosty adult beverage. Oh yeah, yeah. we play with that like Mario Kart all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, what's the what's that game called? 
I think it was, we played this before on Nintendo 64 of playing Mario Kart, you got four people and you have a beer mm -hmm. and you have to finish it before the race is over, but you mm -hmm. cannot be driving while you do that. Correct. So like, there's some strategies where it's like right at the beginning driving. of the race. You cannot, you, your, your car cannot be, be accelerating. Down. Yeah. Or moving. So you have to when stop you are, yes. and drink the beer. Yeah, There's and strategies. still try to win the race and still finish your beer first. Yeah, yep. So like most strategies would be like start. Like chug. You put your thing down. You just chug a beer, and then you have to. Then you can just race. But some people will do the opposite. Some people will like run the whole race the whole and then race. stop Never right at the start that. finish line and then, and then chug. That sounds yeah. like fun though. That's we used so to have fun. tournaments. We'd do that. Uh, How many rounds do you play? Because I, I think by like the fifth round of it gets a little dicey. Well, you do you do championships. So yeah. there's like, you can do a lot of oh. a lot of rounds. And there's, actually there's one I played before where you have your beer and you have to finish your beer. Or if you get hit by a blue shell, mm. if you're the leader, you get hit by a blue shell. Or um, what's the other one? There was other, something else where you had to take a shot. Ooh. And then you had to put your control down, take a shot, and then you had to go <laughs> if you got hit by a blue shell or something else. Spun out but on a banana. should just have an extra person that's not playing to do all the things in real life. Like you run over a banana and the person just throws a banana at your at your <laughs> face or you get hit with the blue shell and they just throw throwing turtles. <laughs> We're just throwing you just gotta paint it blue and you're just chucking just throwing a turtle at snapping turtles. In addition turtles. to the chugging beer. <laughs> That'd be pretty nice. Yeah. Mm. Were, were you Little the type games. of type of gamer uh, growing up that like if you lost you'd like unplug somebody else's controller or uh No. You, no. Fair. Never. You you've never met anybody like that, Kim? I've met people okay. like that. That is a disgrace. Well, were there you are one people of those will, people, Chuck? No, but I had a, there was a buddy in college. But, uh, if you were beating him in football, would always hit pause like right when you were throwing My little ball. sister, though, was one of those, Terrible. not on the when the competing ones, but just if she was playing mm -hmm. by herself, if she messed up, she would restart like the old Nintendo. <laughs> she would restart it so she could start over. I, I mean, hate that. If you're playing on your own, that's different, I feel like. Yeah. Because what? Who are you going? You're only cheating yourself on that. But if you're playing somebody else and you hit pause or reset, then that's just like no. But dick I would, move. we would yeah. do if I was playing with my sister. It would be like one of those like uh, the the shoving, the shoving yeah. and the pushing and the, the pushing like, and shoving. the shoving, taking the batteries out of the controller. Yeah, that, that's not cool, man. That's not good work. game gamesmanship. No, uh, or people leaving matches. Do when you remember you're, that when show right? on Nickelodeon? I forget what it was called. Where it was based on video games, Guts? essentially. No. no. Get real, aggro crack. Legends of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> I went to a live taping of that show, by the way. You would. You know, I'm going to get sidetracked. <laughs> Do you know when you go to the filming of those, you don't get to watch the entire episode from start to finish. So we just had to watch like, like if you're on the, the Temple of Doom part, you watch four different episodes of that that skill happen. Mm -hmm. So we were put in front of this big pool because it was something to do when they, you know, they had act you know, challenges that were in a pool. So we had to wa watch like four or five tapings of different shows on that same challenge. It was terrible. I mean, they're not going to break down that I set know. to build another one so you can watch the whole thing. So it I takes a long time to set those up. <laughs> I have two things that this reminded me of to get back onto my other story. Jeez, I get sidetracked. Um, no, the show, it was like a video game show. So you had to play video games throughout the show. But then at the end, it was live. Like, they put you inside. Like, you went into this room, the two players, and they it was like you were real life in the game. Nobody remembers it. Tron? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the plot of Tron. Sounds like the plot of Tron there, Kim. <laughs> and watching Tron. Somebody listening, tell me. Help me out. But, yeah, it was, like, all video game based. And at the end, you went into this, like, dark room, and as a viewer, you would watch each player, like, do the actual, like, jump for the coin. Or like tag, okay. Uh, no, it's fine. I got nothing. So of, speaking of coins, but, no, that, speaking of coins, Wizards you, of Waverly Place. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got, uh, but I, Hannah Montana. <laughs> Hannah Montana. I Hannah was Montana. also going to say Nickelodeon. Montana. I got very excited. Please tell me it's true. I saw the rumors on the Twitter machine that the winner in Chicago Land, because it is Nickelodeon, is getting slimed in Victory Lane. T oh, I thought you were going to say Teenage Mutant Ninja no. Turtles. I think They're that's the trophy slimed. again. Uh, yeah, I heard about that. It's going to be great. Slime me. <laughs> Slime me. <laughs> Only time you hear me say that. That sounds weird. <laughs> I got one final question on the NASCAR uh, Heat 2 game. Ah. Playing Kez tomorrow, right? Yes. Are there any friendly wagers you guys are like uh, the loser has to... Babysit? You have to babysit Scarlett if you oh, lose. <laughs> what if I... What yeah, if, what, what if he loses? I don't have a child. <laughs> He's I don't have a dog. You have to pick a random child <laughs> for Brad to go babysit. That child right there. Go get him. It doesn't have to be the same 
on that each dog side. out there in the quad right the now. Same on each side of the bet. Like he could win something. He could win you babysitting Scarlett, and you could. No. Can you imagine Ryan as a babysitter? Not babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cookie. Yeah, f- it. Yeah, eat it. yeah. Eat all Are the you, cookies. You want some chocolate before bed? Sweet uh, ice cream. You an ice cream person? Do you like hot wings, Scarlett? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run the Buffalo Wild like, Wings. Um, you stay here. Zach Galifianakis in, in um, found a baby the once. Hangover. <laughs> you found a baby? Yeah, coffee bean. <laughs> You want you you want a monster? Do you want a monster, Scarlet? <laughs> yeah. But yours on the flip side could be like, okay, give me X cases of Miller Lite. Miller Lite. Yeah, it could be good. It could be. I'm, I'm trying to cut back on my drinking through the next okay. ten weeks, though. All right. Cutting back I mean, on it, trying to be a responsible save up adult. for the winter times. So. That's true. I go into hibernation <laughs> in the winter. It's like a squirrel stockpiling. Yeah, for <laughs> stockpiling my nuts. It's just it's just uh, Miller Lite <laughs> stockpiling. I'm just it's not even in the box. It's just piles. <laughs> Of cans. Well, you don't need. Yeah, you can just keep it in the garage in the winter. It keeps it cool. That's true. You're assuming we're gonna have a cold winter. I'm just thinking of what my grandparents did with their pop in Ohio. Pop. Oh yeah. When I used to go visit my grandparents in Ohio, yeah. they always had their pop in the garage because you didn't just put it in the garage. <laughs> Whenever I hear somebody say I had my pop in the garage, I think of like an old man sitting in the garage. Like I don't think of soda. I think of old people. <laughs> like pop. Like pop. That's you know. That's a uh, pop like, pop. He's like in the garage, just alive, <laughs> just hanging out. dead, what alive, doing in the alive, garage? alive, just hanging out, being a, being a pop. I got my pop in the in the ice freezer. Yeah. <laughs> is your pop okay? Is he around? He has the beginnings of a horror story. <laughs> well, it, it's it's amateur uh, amateur cryogenics, really. We're uh, uh-huh. trying to freeze uh, uh, pop. He uh, right. wanted to see how much longer he could last. He's a popsicle. He's a- <laughs> 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 that was actually pretty. Yeah, that was good. good pun. That was good. A popsicle. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of horror stories. Oh. Yes. I have actually two. Two? I'll talk about the first one. Uh, uh, American Horror Story new season is coming out very soon. I don't know if you guys oh. are American have Horror Story fans. Have you watched all seasons of that? No, I've, I've missed the last one. Wasn't Lady Gaga in that? Yeah, I watched the first episode and it was weird. Was she good? Uh, it was weird. Okay. She's Lady Gaga, I guess, in it. Did she sing? Mm-hmm. No, she didn't sing. She oh, actually just murdered people. Murdered people. <laughs> Uh, so wait, that's where she got the meat dress. Yes, Ew. yes. That's <laughs> what? From. That's what? A, that's like uh, Silence of the Lambs. It'd be a great plot for American Horror Story. A uh, pop singer, uh, you know, crazy. goes like we said earlier this year about assassins, and like an F one driver would be the perfect cover for an assassin. Oh, yeah. A singer, musician would, would be a perfect yeah. cover for a serial killer. Yeah, that likes to wear. Yeah. Well, we talked about the Sturgill Simpson thing. Of, mm-hmm. of, uh, oh, some yeah. people think he's a CIA assassin. Eh? Yeah, it'd be perfect because so he traveled the world. American Horror Story on my list to watch. I think it's going to be good. Okay, I think. And the other thing is, Does it ha- don't they have? Not to interrupt you. Don't they have each season is like a different, it's like, like a different. Theme. It's like yeah. all interconnected yeah. somehow. Like there is like is there it's all in the same universe. One? So there's like something that yeah. connects all of them. Oh, okay. and it's like all the same actors. So it's like circus. There's like other oh, hotel. Okay. There's like other things. Uh, but before I talk about this other scary thing, when you said that, when you said I hate to interrupt you, but you did it anyway. I did it anyway. <laughs> so biggest pet peeve of mine ever. And I've wanted to talk about this out here for a long time. Like if you're eating at a restaurant, I don't know if we've talked about this or not. I don't know if we have. If you're eating at a restaurant, this happened to me and Chase and Darlington. I don't know where you're going with We're it. We're eating at Cracker Barrel and fans come up, which I'm great, nice, gracious to meet fans, uh, you know, outside the racetrack and things like that. And it's cool. But like when you're eating, you're eating and a fan comes up, taps you on the shoulder. They're like, hey, I hate to bother you, but, or I hate to disrupt your meal, <laughs> But I'm going to do it anyway, and I'm going to ask for a picture right when you're eating. The but is never good when you get it. Yeah, but I just I think it's really funny when people say, I hate to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So <laughs> or, what, should, what should I say? Just don't come up at all until, like, I'm done eating yeah. or, like, we're done or okay. doing that. It's just, it's just really funny because <laughs> if you hate to do it, why are you doing it? You know? What if they say, I hate to do this, but I'm such a big fan? But are you eating at the time? Like, I've, I don't, if you're eating, let somebody eat. Let them eat. Yeah. Get them in the checkout line. At Cracker Barrel, you got to walk up and pay at the register. So So, it's okay if they just come up and they don't say, I hate to do this, but they're like, hey, man, I want an autograph. Just do that. That'd be a lot better than saying, I hate to do this, but but I'm going to do it anyway. (laughs) Like, because you don't hate to do it. You just did that. So that's just like a big pet peeve of mine. Well, that's like saying, I'm sorry, but you're not really 
sorry. It's like <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, I just it's just something that always bothers me. When you did that, <laughs> it, it reminded bothered me you. of something I it's wanted fine, to say. You're angry. I'm not angry. <laughs> I just wanted to express my feelings. But the other, oh, not to get sidetracked. I feel like Kim getting sidetracked here, but I saw it. You, you saw it. it? By myself. Ooh. That's um, bold. By yourself? That's a bold choice, Cotton. Yeah. <laughs> See if it plays off. That for is. Me. I mean, scary movies are the per- perfect date movies. Yeah, I had my. Could have found a I nice little dates. lassie. No, I couldn't. No. <laughs> uh, I, so I, I asked a few folks. I asked some people to go with me, and they didn't want to go. And uh, I was like, all right, I guess I'm going to see this by myself. And the theater I went to was really nice. It's called Cine Bistro in, uh, in Richmond, Virginia. And you walk in. I had my ticket already on Fandango, pre, pre-bought, pre obviously. <laughs> and uh, it was opening night, so I had to pre-buy it. And I got in, and there's an was awesome place. Busy? Uh, well, it's opening night, and there's like not okay. there wasn't a ton of seats at this place. Okay. But I just wanted to make sure. And uh, like I, there was a really nice bar. I sat down, and I had a drink. And then 30 minutes before the movie started, they let everyone go in the theater. Mm-hmm. And it was like nice, reclinable, retractable yes. chairs. And with a... With like a little desk next mm-hmm. to you, and you order food. I had salmon in what? the movie theater. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> salmon and mashed potatoes, and then they had I had popcorn chicken, and this was so great because it was little pieces of popcorn chicken in popcorn. What? And they gave you chopsticks, and you could just chopstick it out of there. Yeah, it was great. So, so you like had like a three course sh- meal. Yeah, in a movie theater. I'm I'm more on the popcorn chicken that was in the popcorn. I'm more yeah. on the salmon. Because like the popcorn Good. chicken and the popcorn, like you can Dude, pick that hard, out, and it's that's hard that's to eat in the dark finger though. food. No, so well, no, it wasn't really that dark. I mean, I, I started to I mean, eat I, it. I guess before, you're, then, it's close up. Yeah, it's not. It was bad. good. But the it salmon was, it was great. The salmon was oh so great. Pan seared, <laughs> pan seared <laughs> salmon. Yeah, with a little bit of lemon on it. Oh, so good. But like, if you're in the movie theater and like you're sitting there with your knife and fork doing a ch- 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 sound on the that, no? that might be even more scary no. if you're See, in a scary movie. That's why I went to the salmon. No knife required. Oh, just it's use the fork. Tinder, it's tinder it's with the fork. Oh, it just cuts right through, man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was great, and it, the movie was was fantastic as well. Uh, you guys should see it. Was it very scary? It was. I might have left like a little bit of, of you, residue in my pants. Did you yelp? <laughs> did I yelp? I, there was actually some parts where I kind of went. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, it kind of surprised me and scared me. But uh, the original one, it's very much like the original one. Do you like when you're in movies and people react like collectively, like a, when it's a big audience and they like clap? And they cheer and they like cheer on the characters. I'm not a fan of like that. Like during the film? Yes. Like mid film. I've been in some that are like like after the film, they'll clap and applause. I'm like, okay, after the film's good, but not like during the movie. I've been who in some are you where clapping like, for though? It. Like who are where you they, clapping like, for? Yell like the characters. In, <laughs> in an actual <laughs> theater performance of a show, you clap to, you know, oh actors, you did a good job. Yeah. But in a movie, are you clapping for the projectionist? <laughs> like, <laughs> like just, nobody's there show. to appreciate the applause. Like laughter, yeah, I get because that's movie. a natural human response. I've been yeah. in a number of movies where they clap at the end or clap during it during parts. I've been in movies where like the hero shot of the guy who's really handsome, and you'll hear like the ladies go, "Ooh!" <laughs> I have never been in that movie. No, at the beginning of uh, the Force Awakens, though, a couple of years ago, like, like everything came on yeah. and started to roll the roll the uh you know intro credits and everyone was cheering and clapping that's a yeah. that's that acceptable the joy you're like oh my god it's back it's back yeah. it's back yeah yeah but uh no doctor in the movie that's not good i, I get like i'm a, saying i don't like it yeah. if you ever awkwardly laughed at an inappropriate moment in a movie out loud in a theater all the time <laughs> inappropriate what do you mean okay so uh, uh my, in the mo- my sense of humor is very far off from a lot of people, so I will laugh at parts and be the only one in the theater laughing. In the movie Cold Mountain, there's a scene where this girl is rowing across the river, and she's like, for an extra $5, I'll go behind the shed and lift my skirt up over over my head. And Philip Seymour Hoffman turns to Jude Law and says, do we have another $5? And as soon as they say that, the girl gets shot and falls out of the boat. And I just, I went, because <laughs> the timing was... <laughs> People probably think you are a serial killer. I'm, they it's probably fine. think I'm Lady Gaga wearing meat suits. But I don't know that I've laughed at that those completely inappropriate times, but I find myself laughing by myself in the theater a lot. Huh. I <laughs> never I've never seen that movie, so I don't know if it's funny or not. But I I laugh in the theater, but it's usually not like yeah. random, I guess. I don't really know. I laughed. Actually, there's a lot of funny parts in that it movie. Mm-hmm. I laughed pretty hard. Funny parts? It's a clown. Yeah. You got a clown. Clowns are funny. Yeah. 
It was there's some funny for amusement. Got a bad rap over the last couple of years. Yeah. The clowns that were coming out of the woods. Oh wasn't yeah. That, wasn't that, that was South this year. That was wasn't that and South last, Carolina. I think it's been a thing. Yeah, like past couple of years. I'd be curious yeah. to know how how damaging it was to the clown party industry. Clown industry. I think <laughs> I, I think I've read. I thought I read somewhere that. Uh, all these clowns who like do it professionally, like for kids and stuff, yeah. are pissed off at this movie. Mm-hmm. It's a clown question, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just had to bring it if back. If I didn't want to use this pencil, I would throw it at you. <laughs> and, no, but yeah, uh, they are. They like they're angry, and then the people who are like terrorizing folks around town and stuff, being a clown. Oh man, uh, the, they're the mad cl- because the clown community needs some good PR. Yeah. Like an insane clown pro- posse is not doing great right now. Well, you know, I, I think the Juggalos were marching on Washington at one point. Were they? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Do you know what the Juggalos are, Kim? Uh, do they juggle? No. <laughs> I don't Those know. are the people that follow or the insane you clown gigolo? posse. Juggalo? Juggalo. juggalo. I did watch American juggalo. juggalo for the very first time this past weekend. No, not, not Bigelow, the American Juggalo. <laughs> no, the one with Richard Gere. The, Deuce old, Bigelow. the old movie with Richard Gere. Damn, that's Gere. a huge bitch. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot how handsome Richard Gere was when he was younger. I don't know who Richard Gere is. What? Guessing he's an actor. He is an kind. actor. You yes. don't know who Richard Gere is? No, sorry. It's the guy that wears he's the like glasses and now. has the old hair. <laughs> <laughs> wears the glasses and has the hair. He's that guy. And he does that yeah. stuff and he talks on screen. And I don't stuff. know what a ju- what was it? Juggalo. A juggalo is? They are like fan like you know how we have glass holes? Yeah. They're the fans like fans of, of the ICP. Gigolos? Insane oh, Inclan- Clown Posse. Uh, Insane gotcha. Clown Posse. Yeah. Yeah, Go watch Squidbillies and the episode where uh, they talk about Juggalos. Yeah. <sighs> it's a good. It's 15 minutes of your life. You can Google it. Do yeah. does the insane clown posse paint their face for every show? I think so. I think it's like Kiss. Yeah, just like Kiss. Huh. I mean, their budget for but face saying, paint has to be insane. Do, yeah. do they change it up, or do they have the, you know how Kiss theirs is obviously standard? They have the same exact artistry. Of face paint each time. I think they do. They, they mix pretty, it up. I think it's pretty like set. Like okay. they do that. I don't know. I don't. I'm not really an ICP fan. <laughs> so I'm I don't either. know. Either. Uh, I don't know what even kind of music. I'm sure it's just hateful music. Terrible, hateful music. <laughs> Are you a closet fan? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Ju- I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Juggalo. I what just pulled it up and I was looking at the what they label themselves as. It's a hip hop duo. Stop. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Do they yeah. dance? Mm, but it's like heavy metal hip hop, I think. I feel like heavy metal hip hop anonymous? Hip hop. Hip hop. Why he get all these hip hop? Hip hop anonymous? Hip hop anonymous? Oh my god. Yeah. I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, Violent J, Shaggy 2 Dope, and John Kick Jazz. There is the no the, way they're considered hip hop. Yeah. The, uh, they're from Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. Wow. Look at that, that doesn't yeah. surprise me whatsoever. Maybe them and, and Marshall Mathers are related. They just went to two different. They like chose cars. They're like, all right, one of us, <laughs> one of us is gonna paint our face, and we're gonna go become juggalos and hip hop metal. The other one is gonna go rap. <laughs> Pick your card. <laughs> Which one? Pick but, your card. But what if it's hip hop rap? Take the blue pill. I mean, hip hop. Hip hop metal. Metal rap. Hip hop. Hip hop. I lost it. You were anyway. gonna. You were gonna create a new genre. Yeah. Name? Country, hip-hop, metal. Oh, speaking of oh, bad wow. duos, I know we are going to talk about that. Uh, why were we going to talk about that? I don't know. Oh, oh because thing. Rom, you're Rom Zobby. Rob Rom, Zomb- Rom, Rom, Rom Zobby, <laughs> Rom Emanuel. No? CD Rom. Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie. I almost said Rom Zombie. Rom Com. Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie. Uh, yeah, so we, where we did our live podcast, the Amphitheater at Richmond, which I did not know existed. Yeah. Didn't nice know little that little there. gem was there. Well, they've got He's Rob doing... Zombie coming up and playing, and then like a week later, uh, the Head and the Heart. Oh. So, <laughs> polar opposite. Uh, what kind of set is Rob going to do? Because that's... Uh, maybe an acoustic set? Maybe? I don't know. Could you imagine a Rob Zombie acoustic set? How would that even go? A little, a little interesting. Just him and like a guitar <laughs> yeah. and then some dude just banging drums. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. bongos. Yeah. A little, <laughs> little bongo action. I don't know. It, it, you have some interesting songs. Uh, that's like when well, who was it? Robert. Nelly tried to go country. Did that's Nelly really try to go country? Oh, he Nelly. did a he did a thing with Florida Georgia Line. That didn't was the he? worst no, song Nelly? ever. Yeah. Oh wait, I, was, I thought you were talking about the Tim you McGraw one. No, going was, back no, in the day, it was a remix. Nelly and Tim McGraw. It's all I, over and all over. All of the lines are crossed with with the exception of when you get hardcore anything. So like hardcore metal, like hardcore hip hop, everything else. I, I hardcore think it's just country. Like all smashed together. 
Con- yeah. Some of the country songs don't t- sound like pop songs. They sound like pop songs to me. Yeah, it's terrible. All of it is. That's like Taylor Swift, her transition. Yeah. Mm. There it's are some all- very few country artists out there, legit. But yeah, Taylor Swift's new song I heard was very strange. Which you one? heard her new song? I don't know. There's the a one, couple that are out now. The Look What You Made Me Do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw the music video to that too, and I was like, I what the hell? I haven't watched it. Why uh-huh. is it weird? It's just, it's, it's not, I don't feel like it's as good as her earlier work. You know, yeah. I mean, it's no 1984 <laughs> or 89 or whatever year it was. <laughs> 19, it's no George Orwell, okay? It's no 1984. She's, she's interesting. She's no. interesting. Yeah, I don't do, really you, know. do you think she's a cute girl? Like what I date I think her? she's very divisive in terms of her looks. I know a lot of people who think she is gorgeous and a lot of people who are like, meh. I think she's good looking. She goes through she's phases. A, she does she's some a weird cute stuff. Girl. Yeah. She does some weird things with, you know, every now and then artists go through some weird phases. She's really like, tall, too. She's like, 5'11 or something? She's got the crazy eye, too. The crazy eye? She has a lazy crazy eye. eye? No, crazy eye. Not a lazy eye. Crazy eye. <laughs> like Tell one, me you know like the crazy, crazy eye, Kim. Eye? No, it's just like you can look at somebody's eyes and be like, oh, okay, there's They're a little crazy. bit of crazy there. Yeah. yeah, I know some people like that. Yeah, oh, yeah, nice. she Good. likes cats. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is liking cats a prerequisite for crazy eye? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, <sighs> that eye move that you did right there, if you froze that, that'd be crazy eye. Yeah. Really, really, like Freezing, you see a lot of white in the eye. Yeah. A lot of white in the eyes. Yeah, yeah. big eyes. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, if you have cats, you're. If, if you, you have, have more than one cats, cat, thank okay. you. We're on the one same cat, page. you're like okay. She has yeah. multiple cats, and it's really strange. Me, I I enjoy dogs that have people names, but cats with people names are very strange to me. So her cats <laughs> who, are like Meredith. Who names a cat Paul. <laughs> her cats are like Meredith and something else. I think. <laughs> hmm, that's a little strange. Ger- All right, Gertrude. <laughs> I've got an idea for a NASCAR franchise that we can do. What? It's called NASCATS. <laughs> it's a cat racing series. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. PETA uh, might not like it. You know no. what they did? They <laughs> you, did this. you put them in like a Bristol, like a scaled down model of Bristol, and just let the cats go at it. They just give them a bunch at, of catnip and um, just make them go yeah. crazy. What Holy is, cats, is, Miss Agnes. What does Texas Motor Speedway call the, like right near the garage? Fuzzy's Infield? Taco Shop? What? Oh, that field? place is good. Yeah. No, it's like the something circus. <laughs> Nitro circus? No. No. Anyway, they, uh, it's like fan stuff. They raced a couple of years ago. They raced pigs and they had put, I'm, I swear they put the numbers like on the pigs that were like the driver's same. numbers. Like, like with oh. uh, NASCAT, you could have like Danica pet cat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Danica pet cat? Danny, Danica pet cat. Um, Danny, 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 Danny Catlin. Danny Catlin. <laughs> uh, Furball Johnson. <laughs> Mittens Blaney. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many that you could do. It's that'd be, that'd be pretty yeah. funny. How would you get them to run? Can't that's that's the fun part. I don't I haven't figured that one out yet. I think you just jack them up on catnip. <laughs> I don't know what's in catnip, but I know it makes cats go nuts. That and cats will, they'll go nuts too if they lick plastic bags. <laughs> that's really weird. <laughs> or if you put a zucchini behind them, or is it cucumber? Is it oh, cucumber, cucumber or zu- cucumber? Oh, the cat jumping videos yeah. where they <laughs> freak out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't do cats. I'm not a cat no, fan. No. That's because you're crazy if you own yeah. multiple cats. And I'm allergic, so I don't. I don't do cats. Yeah, that mean my eyes itch. I had a friend in, <laughs> in I had a <laughs> chase your tail, <laughs> Elliot. <laughs> Shut up, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? In co- I hated Matt, to do that, but sorry. Matt Catnip. <laughs> Tabby <laughs> Logano. <laughs> what would Ryan's be? <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have a kitty name. <laughs> No, I don't have a kitty name. Who names a cat Ryan? <laughs> it's Ryan the Tabby Cat. The Tabby Cat. Well, that maybe that's what fans can do on the internet, on the Twitter <laughs> and uh, whatever. Hashtag us with uh, your favorite cat NASCAR driver name. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, fun little man. thing. Jamie Cat Murray. <laughs> <laughs> so you could just catnip Boyer. <laughs> That'd be oh, pretty no. funny. Jeff Gord Cat. That's just, that's too that's, simple. Yeah. 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 Mm. Was, I'm not good at this cat name thing. You, you're, they're coming to you really fast. Cat Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say Kitten Leg- Legano? Cat or Bush. Kitten Legano. Kitty Legano. Yeah. <laughs> Brad, what? Brad Kitty Lowski. <laughs> that sounds too much like Titty Lowski. <laughs> Brad Titty Lowski. <laughs> Brad Titty Lowski. Oh my funny gosh. Though. Kitty. That's uh, like a stripper name. Yeah. <laughs> Do the stage. <laughs> it's like Tits McGee. Brad Titulowski. <laughs> I'm Veronica Corningstone. Tits McGee's off tonight. <laughs> but I this digress. Just went <laughs> so far off the rails. Jeez. Of course. Of course it did. It always does, doesn't um, it? Um, we didn't get a chance to talk about yet. Poop. Poop. 
I'm sorry. We didn't get a chance to talk about the we, fact that really Denny's, talk about Denny's 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 has a new mascot. That? Does Denny Denny Hamlin had that? What was it like a promotion going? Yeah, Denny's Denny's. It's like last Which is year. Weird or anyway. Yeah. They should have just yeah. call it like Denny Squared. Yeah. Yeah. Denny, but they got a new logo. But that should have been Denny's mascot. The Denny, Denny mascot. Yeah. It's, it's a, a mascot. I think. <laughs> I think but it's like that. It looks like a piece of poop. It's like I don't know what it's trying. I think it's a. I think it's supposed Denny's, to be a piece of sausage. I think it's a sausage. It, but it has a top hat. Like a crappy job of yeah. <laughs> designing. Maybe it looks a little bit better in person, but I don't think you can make a sausage look good. And he's carrying bags, like he's going to deliver them to you. <laughs> and it says, uh, snap the slams. Why does he have a hand? Oh, because the Grand Slam. Yeah. <laughs> Denny's Grand Slam. I'm not going to lie. I love Denny's. Yeah. Denny's, Denny's is Denny's great. Denny's is delicious. But maybe uh, they finally realized what Denny's makes you do, and they're like, this is going to be our new mascot. <laughs> yeah, they could have put like a... an interesting choice, though. They decided to put like a detective hat on him, <laughs> but then his shoes... I'm going to get to the bottom of this <laughs> But his shoes are like, they look like sneakers. His shoes are like sneakers. sneakers. Well, he's, I mean, he's a <laughs> he's sneak cool up on casual. <laughs> I wish this would have been Denny's playoff emoji. <laughs> Just a sausage hat. It's, it's that sausage, sausage poop that sneaks is, up on you. And you his, never know when it's going to happen. His face is so weird, too. <laughs> it looks like the face that the first time I saw it, that was my face. <laughs> you were smiling? Yeah, I was smiling. And I was, no, I was, he was like, he's like frightened. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no, they're going to eat me. He looks like his yeah, facial expression, scared? his facial expression looks like you're in a public place and you tried to fart. And you kind of poop your pants a little bit. I mean, <laughs> or the first time you smell a fart balloon. <laughs> <You're> like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know that the, the tag nine, tagline snap the slams. <laughs> Maybe they're doing a promotional deal with Snapchat and a snap sausage. The slam. <laughs> Maybe, you know oh, how they have a little hot go. dog on Snapchat? That, like dances, uh, yeah. dance. maybe they're gonna have the dancing uh, sausage. Sausage. This yeah. is not appetizing though. Do the sausage dance. He's all over the menu too, like pictures of him. It's like the little paper clip from uh, Microsoft Word back in the day. Oh, that bounced around. Uh, you need he help? just had eyes though, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, his paper clip and like arms. No, I think he just you had need some eyes. Help? I'm, I'm here to help well, you. Yeah, I think he just had I eyes. I think he just had I'm eyes. I'm clippy. It's not like Tally. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember Stick Stickly? Don't forget to bring a towel. Do you remember Stick Stickly on Nickelodeon? He was a popsicle stick. Yeah, Stick Stickly. I remember Plank. From Ed, Ed, and Eddie. It was on Cartoon Network, though. I don't remember. Ed, Ed and Eddie. Oh! Uh, it time. But I do remember Stick Stickly. Yes. Yeah, he stick just stickly. had eyes. I think it was literally just a popsicle stick with eyes. <laughs> just bounce around. <laughs> yeah. He's only a summertime character, though. Yeah, because he was a popsicle stick. Who eats, who eats popsicles <laughs> in the wintertime? It'd be funny <laughs> if they brought him back in the wintertime and he actually had a, a, popsicle, a popsicle on him. Because ah! it's cold. And then in the summertime, he melts. And that's how he gets his <laughs> summer bod. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. That is actually awesome. <laughs> yeah. What do you got? What do I got? You got to queue up I, something. Gonna, you gonna, we're talking about summer bods. <laughs> we're heading into fall. It's, you know. It's, yeah. fat, it's fat man weather. All right. That's probably really fat good. Fat guy weather here. heading here as we that. go to Chicago. So, all right. Yeah. The playoffs start uh, this weekend. So, that'd be fun. Hashtag NASCAR playoffs. Hashtag NASCAR playoffs. There's an emoji hashtag for that. Blaney. Hashtag Blaney. Hashtag I have, uh, Blaney. I have my Blaney thing. And uh, hashtag nice glass holes. Glass hashtag holes. glass case of emotion. Hashtag. Uh, all the hashtags. All the hashtag it. Hashtag yeah. popsicles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like and subscribe. We're trying to get to a million. We're at 730,000. Tell us what you think we should do when we hit a million. Yes. Bye.